Welcome in on a beautiful afternoon here at the Lancer Aquatic Center. It's the Lancers hosting the Aztecs. GCC action coming your way here from Riverside. CBU 11 and 16 overall. Meanwhile, San Diego State, the Aztecs at 14 and 13, their overall record. Each one of these squads three and three in the Golden Coast Conference play. Lancers dropped their last one. And the Aztecs come in, winners of two straights in the series history. I tell you what, the Aztecs are dominating this one 24 to two in the overall series history, 22 straights for the Aztecs. These two teams met back in February. It was a real close game. But the Lancers fell once again for the 22nd straight time to the Aztecs. That was 13 to 12. So just about ready to get underway. Beautiful afternoon. It was an overcast morning, but the sun has really peaked out here. 68 degrees and a lot of sunshine. A little bit breezy. The wind's coming out of the northwest. My name is Steve Douglas. Filling in for you today as far as the starters for each one of these squads. Carter, Almadarez, Emily Hutton, the leading scorer for the Lancers. Kira Kahahawai, Julia Almadarez, and Delia Moreno. San Diego State, Rigetti, Hauk, Anime, Murphy, Valdez, and Stupas. And here we go, the opening sprint. And it is won by the Aztecs. We're underway here in Riverside. Thank you so much for joining us. The last regular season game for both of these squads. Heading into tournament play next weekend. The tournament will be the 26th through the 28th. All eight teams will be in the tournament. The only things decided so far is the first and second seed, that's LMU and Fresno State, as this one is blocked in the middle. Good defense from CBU. And in the bottom of the GCC standings, Concordia is the eighth seed, Santa Clara is the seventh, and everyone else is three and three in conference play, kind of bunched in the middle, so we'll decide a lot this weekend. And we're going the other way. San Diego State now. Neither team with a shot on goal here early. Head coach for the Lancers, Julia Snodgrass, in her second season. Dana Oshner, also in her second season, for the Aztecs. Pass dumped in the middle. Tiana Schneider will track that one down in goal this afternoon for the Lancers as she's been most of the season. Ava Radicek in goal for the Aztecs this afternoon. So an exclusion against Sofia Rigetti. Lancers on the power play. Good save at the net. Shot there from Alila Moreno. But rat attack there to deny the attempt. Aztecs now the other way. Outside, take a look. Power play opportunity here for the Aztecs. Up top, skipped and scored. Looked like that was Shannon Murphy, and indeed it was number eight, Shannon Murphy. So Murphy on the season, now that's her 15th goal. And the advantage to the Aztecs, one nothing. 
Lancers will look to level this up. Just getting underway here from the Inland Empire. Thank you so much for joining us here on YouTube. As we'll head the other way. So far, the Aztecs have had the advantage. The goal, also the shots. Streaking this time, and the goal from the far side. Rose Kaname with the goal. Claudia Valdez with the helper. Valdez comes in third in the GCC as far as goals, but she gets the assist right there. She's second in the GCC as far as points. So another one there. 2-0, Aztecs on top. Lancers going to try to mount an attack here so far. Just the one shot, and once again, the Aztecs defense up to the task. Streaking ahead. Lancers do well to get back, otherwise Aztecs have numbers. Pass to the near side. Kaname gets that one into the middle. A whistle before the shot by Hauk. That's Kendall Hauk, the senior. So with the penalty foul on Celeste Almendarez. Here's Valdez, and she skips and scores. You're not gonna top, uh, excuse me, you're not gonna stop Claudia Valdez too often, the sophomore from Madrid, Spain. And it is three nothing here early. We're gonna go ahead and step aside. A first time out taken by the Lancers. Welcome back to the Lancer Aquatic Center. So far, all San Diego State early. We'll see if the timeout and the pep talk from head coach Julie Snodgrass can light a spark under the Lancers. Each one of these teams three and three in conference play. And so far in the series, as I mentioned, it's been all Aztecs, Lancer is trying to change that here. Up top, Kaylee Carter. There's Moreno. Moreno gets the first goal for the Lancers. And it's 3-1. So Delilah Moreno, her 26th on the season. And cuts the deficit to two. So Moreno, the freshman from Commerce, California. Getting in the action here early. Now the Aztecs look to answer. Up top, Rigetti. Near side, Kaname. Back to Rigetti. Aztecs try to dump that inside. Schneider will 
go ahead and collect as she comes off of the line. So the Lancers look to go back to back and gain a bit of momentum here in this game. Julia Almendarez dumps inside. Good stop there. The freshman from Carlsbad, California, Ava Ratatich. Aztecs going the other way in the middle, and Schneider returns with a save. Tiana Schneider, the sophomore from Marietta Valley High School. A corner here for the Aztecs. Aztecs with five shots on goal. There's a six skipped in there, but Schneider equal to the task. Answers now headed the other way. These two teams sharpening up for the tournament next weekend. And these two teams both at three and three in conference play, so trying to still determine their spot in the seating. But Aztecs take this one away and they'll head the other way offensively now. There's Rose Kaname with the left and that sneaks through. Just did get beyond Tiana Schneider there. And it's now 4-1 Aztecs on top. We'll get some changes here. trying to answer offensively. But instead, here comes the Aztecs once again, another turnover. Amanda Chambers, and she will not be denied. So Amanda Chambers with a head of steam, the junior from Victoria, British Columbia up north and boy she was on the sprint there Aztecs now with the four goal advantage so the Lancers will try to chip away here there's Grace Bergquist Emily Hutton, far side, the leading scorer for the Lancers. Into the middle, turn around, another great save by Radicic. The Aztecs have had the advantage not only offensively in this one, but they've had some outstanding goal play so far at the cage. Lancers with another opportunity here after the turnover by San Diego State. Up top, that's Hutton looking for somewhere to go. Into Kaylee Carter. Up top, Grace Burquest, but once again, outstanding goalkeeper play for San Diego State. Near side, wide open for the moment was Amanda Chambers. The defense closed, but she didn't really have an angle. So threw that one straight into the chest of Tiana Schneider. 
Lancers, five shots on goal, but just one has hit the back of the net. That one's high. The attempt there from Kaylee Carter in traffic. Not an easy attempt there. Chambers once again sprinting forward. Lancers are having a hard time containing her. Now in the middle, wide open, but just over the net was Rose Kenneme. So perhaps the last offensive opportunity here of the quarter. Off of the cage. That went off of the top bar. Shot clock has been turned off. And the Aztecs will bring Radicic up with the offense here. Seven on six. Radovic with it up top. She's going to have to heave it. And she misses wide, and that's how we'll end things here in the first period. It's all Aztecs up by four. Welcome back to the Inland Empire, the last regular season contest for both of these squads here, both at three and three in conference play and both getting ready for the tournament. Next weekend, all eight teams will be featured in the Golden Coast Conference Tournament. It'll be happening April 26th to 28th. Now both of these teams, three and three, so going to determine their seat here today. So far, all Aztecs, they've got five goals on 11 shots. They're one and one on the power play. CBU 0 for 1 on the power play. The Lancers with just seven shots and only one finding the back of the net here so far. Credit to the goalkeeper for San Diego State, Ava Radizak. Radizak has looked really good, the freshman from Carlsbad. So 5-1, here we go, start of the second. The sprint was won by the Aztecs in the first, and this time 
the Lancers win the sprint. That was Madison Hawthorne. Devin Ruffer up top. She gets that one to the far side. Lancers, quick passing. Shot from the outside, but still, Radizak there. The Lancers on the season with 293 goals. This is their 28th game played, and the Aztecs, as I say that, put that one in the back of the net far too easily. 6-1, now the advantage. That was Kendall Hout. The helper from Sophia Rigetti. Hauk, one of the seniors, it's senior day. Melissa Kwan was honored before the contest this afternoon for the Lancers. She's a senior out of Irvine, went to Irvine High School. And this one dumped in, in the middle. That looked like Chloe Morgan. Wait for the official announcement. Answer goal number 13, Reese Berringer. And I beg your pardon. That was Reese Berringer, the sophomore from Marietta. So 6-2 as the Lancers try to fight their way back in. Errant pass. Rigetti will go and get it, but now will head the other way. The turnover by the Aztecs as they were whistled for the offensive foul. Here's Hawthorne looking for somebody to get it to. Morgan Gates on the far side. Here's Gates. Lancers on the power play. 0 for 1 so far in this one. Up top. Shot wide. That was Madison Hawthorne. And the Lancers turned away once again, now 0-2 on the power play. Certainly a situation the Lancers would like to capitalize on. Aztecs now on the attack. They have a power play. They didn't miss last time they had an opportunity with the man advantage. Off the cage. That was Sydney Gish. She had beat the goalie, but was about three inches too high with it. Lancers now. Berquist being harassed. Tries to get this one in the middle. Really good defense, though, by the Aztecs. Not going to let that happen. That looked like Rose Kaname once again getting involved, the junior from Montreal, Canada. So the Aztecs, four goal advantage. Try to get that one inside. They did successfully, but good defense there. Reese Berenger. Making sure that there wasn't a point blank shot right there for the Aztecs. Morgan Gates with the left hand. Deflected off the cage. Another good save by the goalie. Redizak, Aztecs, looked like they had numbers, but the Lancers able to respond. Madison Howarth, the freshman with the good defense. Yeah. 
And a goal from the Lancers. And they cut the deficit now in half. Morgan Gates finds the back of the net. She's assisted by Grace Berquist. Gates on the season, now her 12th goal. So six to three now. Four minutes gone by here in the second. Get some substitutions here for the Lancers. Pass in the middle. Whistle, and looks like we're going to get another power play. Opportunity for the Aztecs. Dorlahowski. Swims off, and we're going to go ahead and take a timeout. 6 3, Aztecs on top. Welcome back after the San Diego State full timeout. Aztecs trying to get themselves all organized. Trying to take advantage of this power play. They're one for three, and that one made it through. Just got past Tiana Schneider there. And it's now seven to three. Aztecs two for four on the power play. So taking advantage when they have the advantage. CBU so far hasn't been able to do the same. So four goal advantage for the Aztecs. Ranked the number 23 team in the nation. Of course, LMU at the top of the GCC standings. They're ranked sixth in the nation. Trying to get this one in the middle. A lot of action, but the Aztecs able to poke it away. Long pass up ahead. Hollis Munchoff. Gets this one over to Lucy Bullock. And Whistle will head the other way. Lancers trying to put the pressure on in this counterattack. Up top, Kaylee Carter. Carter taking a look, see if the Lancers can take advantage of this power play. Near side, skips and scores. Dora Lahowski. Lahowski's her 15th goal on the season. Cuts the advantage back down to just three goals. And perhaps more importantly, a goal scored on the power play for the Lancers. And now one for three in that department. Perhaps gain some confidence for the rest of this game. And Kaylee Carter will swim off. Advantage now for the Aztecs as they try to 
Yet another goal on the power play here, near side. Oh, off of the bar there, off the skip. That was Hollis much of. Lancers now trying to counter. Mahoski. Going far side. Lancers trying to get that in the middle. There's a whistle. And the goal scored by Carter. It's 7 5. So Carter, her 18th on the season, and it's a two-goal advantage now for the Aztecs, who really had their way in the first period. Second period now, Lancers making their charge, 7-5. Radizek gets that one up ahead. One of the other seniors here today, Danny Cruteau. In the middle, and that'll get through. Just getting past Tiana Schneider. I believe that was Shannon Murphy who found the back of the net there. Mary Comiskey with the assist, and it's eight to five. Final minute of the first half, and it's been a good one here from the Inland Empire. Thank you so much for joining us here today. Lancers on the attack. They have the blue caps on. Aztecs with the white caps, whistle, and Aztecs head back offensively, and they're on the attack. Hollis Munchoff out ahead of everyone. Good defense by Kaylee Carter. Now up top, Murphy gets this one to Comiskey. Comiskey. With the assist to play a go. Little dump in by the Aztecs. Lancers with the defense. They were able to, able to come in and take that one away from Danny Cruteau. Well, Tiana Schneider going to swim this one forward. Last 10 seconds. Schneider better hurry. And Lancers. Barely able to get the shot off, and I'm not sure that was in time. And that'll take us to the break for the half. Aztecs with the three goal advantage. It's eight to five.
Welcome back to the Inland Empire at the Lancer Aquatic Center in Riverside. Beautiful sunny day out here and a fantastic GCC match for you. San Diego State on top of the Lancers here, 8-5. to five. We'll take a look at some of the stats from the first half. 16 goals, or excuse me, 16 shots on the goal by the Aztecs, 15 for the Lancers. Shot percentage then for San Diego State, right at 500, 333 for CBU. Both teams went two for four on the power play. The Lancers, they got their last two exclusions because they were 0 for two on the power play to begin the half. And 8-5. Here in Riverside, gorgeous afternoon. My name is Stephen Douglas, filling in for Mr. Van Noti. And you're watching this live stream on YouTube. Both of these teams, three and three in conference play, and they're fighting for a better seed in next weekend's tournament. This one, the Lancers are able to win the sprint. Good effort there by Adriana Wong. She beat Shannon Murphy to that one. To the Lancers. A little bit of momentum going here into the beginning of the third period. A little bit of indecision there. Players looking at each other, but the Lancers finally collect. Pass errant, but the whistle. Exclusion. Power play opportunity once again here for the Lancers. Up top, back over here to Almendarez. That shot from the middle deflected. That was Aubrey Newton in the middle trying to get that one away for the Lancers, but the Aztecs defense stout in the middle, playing the post well. That was Claudia Valdez with it. She gets that one over to the far side. Looked like Rose Kaname once again. And it's 9-5. So good defense by Claudia Valdez on the defensive side. Then they go back. And Valdez gets involved in the offense. The goal actually scored by Shannon Murphy. Rose Kaname with the assist. Lancers in the middle. Rose Berenger harassed there. And that one taken away. Here comes Kendall Houck. Houck, one of the three seniors here this afternoon. Skipped and saved by Schneider. That was Claudia Valdez with the shot. Valdez. On the season, she's second in the conference in points with 93 coming in, third in the conference with goals. She has 64 entering play today. That one nearly skipped through, but Radicek able to kind of pin that one against the sidebar of the cage. And here comes the Aztecs with the four-goal advantage, looking for more. In the middle, Schneider able to poke that one away. Long arm of the law there. Otherwise, Aztecs have a five-goal advantage at this point. Mentioned it earlier, but the series history has been all San Diego State so far. 24-2, and two, and they're on a 22-game winning streak. That one well over the net. Reese Berenger a little wild with it. Although you got to tip your cap to the goalkeeper. Radizak taking away the angles. Off the post, rebound saved by Schneider. 
It was Valdez once again. But Schneider with the block. Moreno, far side, gets it near side to Wong. Wong gets roughed up in the middle, and it'll be a power play for the Lancers. But before that, I think we're going to get a timeout. The two teams will talk about things. We'll step aside and be back in just a moment. Welcome back to the Lancer Aquatic Center, San Diego State. The Aztecs with the four-goal advantage here in the third period. Lancers have taken a full timeout. Head coach Julie Snodgrass trying to draw up a perfect play here in the power play. CBU so far two of six on the power play this afternoon. Schneider will start it. Near side, Emily Hutton. Here's Carter, far side now. Back across, Carter up top, harassed. In the middle, and a nice deflection, real good play by the Lancers. And it's the graduate senior, Kyra Kahahavai, with the nice redirect there. That's her 27th goal on the season and cuts this one down to three. So Julie Snodgrass drew up that play and it was a dandy. Lancers now three of six on the power play today. As far as for the season, their power play percentage just 313, so they're above their average, playing well with the exclusion this afternoon. Lancers, another opportunity. Momentum on their side. Up top, near side now, Emily Hutton. Looking for somebody, that one off the mark as far as that pass to Delilah Moreno. Moreno will get it back. Ten seconds now to shoot. In the middle, deflected. And that was off of a Lancer. Celeste Almendarez with the shot. Aztecs on the way back. Elena Pena. Now up top, Brooke Lee. Lee now back to Pena. Near side, Amanda Chambers in the corner. And that one from Pena. Just wide of the cage there. So once again, another defensive stop for the Lancers. And here they come offensively. Just under three minutes to go in the third. Down by three goals. And there it is. Nice 
goal there from Celeste Almendarez, the senior from Hawthorne, California. Celeste, her 31st goal of the season. It's a big one. Cuts this one to a two goal advantage. So the Lancers now with seven goals on 21 shots. Aztecs, nine goals on the same number of shots. So the Aztecs, who have lost a little bit of the momentum in this one seemingly, look to gain it back, and a goal here would certainly do that. Here's Chambers, loses the handle, and so once again, the Lancers' defense steps up. Tiana Schneider holding it up, looking for someone to come forward to. Instead, we'll get a whistle. Grace Burquist. A junior from Fremont, California, plays this one forward. In the middle, Hutton trying to get that one over to Kahahawai. Another whistle, here's Kaylee Carter. Carter holding it, waiting. Here's Hutton near side. In the middle. But the goalie anticipating that one, Radizak with the good save there. That was off of the Celeste Almendarez attempt. So here comes the Aztecs. And once again, the Aztecs offensively turned away. Here comes CBU, Kaylee Carter. Junior from Corinth, Texas, will bring this one forward. Holds it up, looks for somebody to get it to. Here's Burquist in the middle. Pass a little bit off of the mark. So Reese Berenger not able to corral that. And the Aztecs with the stop. Pass forward, Amanda Chambers. Chambers will hold up and wait for some help. It's Comiskey holds it up with the right hand, now dumps it into the middle. And that one squirts by. So a three goal advantage, Hannah Bell Getting a tally on the score sheet there. Mary Kamiski with the assist. And it's now 10-7. Aztecs, three goal advantage. They'd like to stop the Lancers offensively right here and try to continue their momentum going into the fourth. Lancers, of course, they want to answer right away. Keep the momentum on their side here. Said this is going to go the other way. Offensive infraction on California Baptist. Aztecs with it on the far side. San Diego State in the white caps. CBU in blue. In the middle. Time running down. Lancers will heave, but to no avail. It's a good one out here in Riverside. 10-7, Aztecs with the advantage as we move to action in the fourth in just a moment.
Welcome back to the Lancer Aquatic Center. 10-7, San Diego State on top of California Baptist University. So the Lancers down by three goals, and statistically, if you break down their goals by period over the season, the fourth period is actually the period that they've scored the least amount of goals during the season, but we'll see how that plays out here this afternoon. San Diego State, the first period, had all the momentum, had the full advantage in their favor, but since then, CBU has made it tough on the Aztecs. Both of these teams, as I mentioned earlier, three and three in conference play, so looking to find themselves a seat at the tournament, the dance next weekend, uh, 26th to 28th. Both these teams three and three and looking to see who they'll be playing against. But both would like to end the season with a victory. The Aztecs come in on a two-game winning streak. Lancers dropped their last one, so they would like to get this positive momentum going into the tournament. Get a little bit of positive momentum here as they win the sprint. So the Lancers I mean, three of the four sprints here. That was Dora Lachowski over Kendall Hauk there. Lancers with it. And that one gets in there. Looked like it might have been deflected a little bit, but Aubrey Newton finds the back of the net. Kaylee Carter with the assist. Newton on the season, that's her 17th goal. And it's 10 to eight. So that's exactly the way the Lancers wanted to start this fourth period. Up top, Sophia Rigetti looking for somebody. Again, Aztecs in the white caps. This one skips past Tiana Schneider. So the Lancers. In the blue caps, swimming from left to right on your screen, down by two, with the ball on the far side. That one just off the cage, a shot by Madison Haworth, and she didn't miss by much there. Aztecs now on the counter, near side, the senior, Kendall Hauk. She'll hold up, wait for numbers, and then a pass in the middle to nobody in particular, so the Lancers will take that over. Schneider, near side. Morgan Gates. Morgan Gates coming forward. Nobody on her for the moment. Passes that one off to the middle. Dora Lahowski. She is denied Radizak once again. She's had a pretty solid afternoon in goal for the Aztecs. Aztecs trying to get that one in the middle to Kendall Hauk. And the whistle will head the other way. So a turnover for the Aztecs. This one. In the middle, the defense was tightening up there. Dora Lahowski trying to come through the middle. Morgan Gates with it. Power play once again for the Lancers. They were 0 for 2 to start in power plays. But they've really gotten their act together as of late. And it looked like the Aztec player came out and helped with that one. That's just off the goal there. That was Dor Dora Lahowski. So timeout here, 
two goal advantage for the Aztecs. We'll step aside with the conclusion in just a moment. Ten eight, two goal advantage for the Aztecs here in the Inland Empire. The final regular season match for these two, both tuning up for the tournament next weekend. Aztecs hold this one up. Now send it into the middle. They're going to go on the power play, and that is short-lived as they get the goal immediately. The exclusion was against Dora Lahoski, and the goal for the Aztecs almost immediately after the whistle. That goal scored by Claudia Valdez, one of the most proficient scorers in the entire conference. Valdez now with 65 goals on the season. That's good for third in the GCC. It's 11-8. There's a whistle. Exclusion. Power play now for the Lancers. And they make it work. 11-9. The freshman, Delilah Moreno, with the goal. Moreno's second on the day, now her 27th on the season. And it's a big one as it cuts this one to two. Aztecs near side. Chambers holds it up, gets it up to the middle. Rutz Rigetti. Far side, now into the middle, and the Aztecs are able to answer. Look like Mimi Stupas. And indeed it was Stupas with the goal. Hollis Munchoff with the assist, and it's 12-9. Just under four and a half to go. Final period. Aztecs were super strong in the first period. Lancers have answered back since, but now the Aztecs seemingly have grabbed a hold of the momentum once again. That one, not too tough for Radizak. She'll save that one. That was Delilah Moreno with the attempt. See if the Aztecs want to use a little bit more shot clock this time. No, they'll go right after it. They miss wide. And the Lancers, down by three goals, head the other way. That was Amanda Chambers who took that shot for the Aztecs, which was wide. Errant pass. And now here comes the Aztecs, Shannon Murphy. Trying to break out. And instead, we're going to go back the other way. 
San Diego State whistled for the infraction there. Moreno looking for her team to get into position. She'll fling this one across the pool. Morgan Gates there in the middle. Looked like Aubrey Newton didn't have a good handle on that one. Flung it over the net. It's a good idea. Get that one into the post. But the shot, a bit wild. So Aztecs now hold it up. Here's Shannon Murphy. She'll dump this one down, near side. The Spaniard, Claudia Valdez, with possession, but no longer is it's whistled the other way. So 12-9, two and a half minutes to go here from the Lancer Aquatic Center. This has been a good one so far. San Diego State with a real good first period. Lancers have been fighting back. Lancers have 30 shots on goal. And CBU 4 of 10 on the power play in this one. Meanwhile, the Aztecs 12 goals, 28 shots, and they're three of six on the power play. So both these teams will be in the tournament next weekend. Of course, LMU, 6-0, they're going to be the top seed. Fresno State, the second seed at 5-1. And, and then you've got Santa Clara at 1-5. They'll be the seventh seed. Concordia will be the eighth seed at 0-6. And then everyone else is in the middle at three and three. So a lot of these seats are going to be decided here this weekend for next weekend's tournament. Senior day out here in Riverside. Melissa Kwan honored before the game. She got a shot on goal in this one. She said one of her highlights was a at the buzzer shot a goal in I believe that was 2022 for her and then the seniors for San Diego State Kendall Houck and Danny Cruteau so congratulations to all the seniors out here and uh, here we go 12-9 two and a half left in this one Lancers running out of time. Huge possession here. Emily Hutton, near side, holding, looking for somewhere to go. She'll bring it into the middle. And that one off of the fingertips. What a shot, Celeste Almendares. And it is 12-10. Almendares, her second of the game. That's her 32nd goal of the season. So in a crucial possession for CBU, had to come away with a goal. They're able to do so off of the strength of the senior, Celeste Almendarez. Now the Lancers need a stop. Near side, Brooke Lee holds it up, looking for somebody, goes across to Comiskey. Mary's her first name. She's looking for somebody. Instead, she'll take the shot off of the cage. So the Lancers, they got the goal that they needed, the last possession. Now they get the stop that they so desperately needed. Let's see if they can get another one here. Instead, the Aztecs step up defensively. So once again, CBU in the position of they must get a stop here. Far side, McKenna Macedo. Tries to get this to the Spaniard, Claudia Valdez. Valdez holds it up at the top, dumps it in. 
is Hannah Bell. So Hannah Bell drew the call. The New Zealander scores. And could that be the dagger? And it's now 13 to 10. And Claudia Valdez with another goal to add to her tally, one of the league leaders in that department and in points. Came in second in the conference with 93 points. And another goal for Valdez, 13-10. Lancers have Schneider out of the goal, seven on six. Off of the cage, the shot by Schneider. And timeout. So a timeout with 103 remaining in this one. Three goal advantage for the Aztecs. And this one, just a 30 second timeout. So we'll go ahead and stick with the action. 13 goals on 30 shots for San Diego State. The Lancers with 10 goals on 32 shots in this one. And here we go, under a minute left. Aztecs can all but ice it right here with a goal. Even if they don't score here, as long as they take off time off of that shot clock, they're in good position to take the victory here today. Lancers get this one ahead. There's Emily Hutton. Now in the middle, off the post. Oh boy, that was real close to being the 11th goal for the Lancers, but missed that one by millimeters? Maybe centimeters. So 13-10 in this one. It looks like the Aztecs are going to take this one But before that, we'll get another timeout, break in the action. We'll step aside for a moment. Welcome back to Riverside, 13-10. Aztecs on top, remaining seconds left in this one here in the fourth, just 17 of them. So the Aztecs with possession as well, so they just need to kind of run this one down. Three goal advantage. Lancers made it tough especially in the second and the third periods, but too much Aztecs in the first and the fourth periods, and that'll do it here for the regular season. So the Lancers will end the season at 11 and 17 overall, three and four in the GCC. The Aztecs now 15 and 13 overall, four and three in conference play, so they'll have a higher seed then the Lancers going in to the tournament next weekend. We'll see how all that shakes out as the week progresses and the other score, uh, scores go final. Thank you so much for tuning in where the San Diego State Aztecs won this one 13 to 10 over CBU. Thank you so much for joining us. Have a great afternoon, everybody.